What's going on, everyone? I want to thank y'all for tuning in. This is episode three, season two of the agenda. And um, today we got a real, real good topic. Um, and the topic is self accountability. Um, so uh, if you guys are enjoying the content, you know, please like and subscribe. Uh, check out all our previous content on the Dark Network, you know. YouTube.com slash Dark Network 24-7 or head to the website www.darknetwork247.com. Uh, we got all kind of crazy content on there, man. So make sure y'all check us out. Support the page. Support the network. Cause you know, we taking it over. And um, you know, we we're providing a good a good outlet for real black information real black media and entertainment so make sure y'all please tune in uh subscribe you know we're on social media as well uh you can subscribe facebook dark network 24 7 you know saying check them out on there um even on instagram as well dark network 24 7 y'all can follow the agenda on all social media platforms facebook twitter instagram at the agenda that's d-a agenda and we're on that new True Social app, you know what I'm saying? So make sure y'all follow us on there. Help us build a real black presence on that app. Uh, so that would be V of the Agenda. That's the letter V of the Agenda on True Social. So check us out on there. So let's dive into the topic, um, self-accountability. Uh, this is a real big topic that's really major in the black community. Um, as y'all say, well, as I say, I'm going to always keep it 1,000. You know, I'm going to call everybody out on a BS and I'm going to call ourselves out on our BS too. You know what I'm saying? So, um, self-accountability. So, we live in a society where it's just easy to point fingers at every, you know, it's always somebody else. I mean, I'm pretty sure, I mean, I've done this myself. I'm pretty sure you've done this. I'm pretty sure you have people sur in surrounded family, friends, that's coworkers, you know what I'm saying, that do this. It's always pointing the fingers and it's always somebody else's fault for why, you know, they're not at a point in their life that they are, you know, things like that. And I understand, you know what I'm saying? Especially with my family, you know, I always hear, you know, ah, man, if it wasn't for, you know, yo, 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 dumbass uncle, you know, doing this, you know, woo, woo, yeah, we could have been on right now. It's not, you know, I'm like, hey, in some circumstances and situations, you're exactly right. You know what I'm saying? Um, however, um, what are you doing to work your way around that? What are you doing? I mean, let's talk about all this undiagnosed trauma we have in our, in, you know, in our communities, right? You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, we don't seek to, I guess, heal first, then move forward, right? Um, you know, there, there, there is a lot of damage. There is a lot of trauma that we go through. There is a lot of animosity amongst family and friends that, you know, it's understandable. I have it. You have it. We all have it. We all experienced it. But at the same time, why are you still letting that affect you? And you're letting that block you from getting to the next level, you know? Um, and I've been, I've been, you know, taking a lot of, self-development courses. I've been reading a lot of self-development books. Um, and one thing that I've been reading, you know, it's called the laws of success. Um, one that really hit me was self-control, you know, um, a man that, you know, doesn't have self-control or a woman, you know, that doesn't, that, 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 that lacks self-control will basically, you know, you, you will be a failure. You know, and I understand because it's something that I work with myself, you know, I mean, it's something simple as somebody cutting you off in traffic and you just, man, that's it. You know what I'm saying? You ready to go off, cuss people out, you know, the whole thing. But, you know, what I really uh, figured out, and this was somebody telling me, you know, they say 
man, you know, you really kind of like, or like a lot of laid back, like, like you do not like to argue, you know? And it's, uh, you know, they say it's like, even if I, even if I'm yelling at you or cussing you out and your response is not matching my energy, you know, you're more calmer and you just like, you know, just, just real cool. The person was like, that kind of makes me feel like a, like a jackass, like a dickhead, because it's like, damn, like, am I really the one that's doing too much? You know, am I the one that's, uh, uh, um, in the wrong? And that's all about self-control. It's all about, it's all psychology. You know what I'm saying? When you go out here and you, you know, you see these cats over here cussing and fussing, doing all this stuff, you know, cause they, somebody screaming at them. So it's like, they, they get into a whole shouting match and everything. You know, that's, that's really you stooping down to other people to, to, to a lower level, you know, instead of having that self-control and, and keeping the peace and keeping cool with yourself, you know, I mean, Hey, you know what you're capable of, you know, the other person, you know, you can't fault them on their ignorance or their stupidness, but the greater defeat that you can give somebody is the art of self-control, you know, and just, you know passing it on to say, oh, well, man, look, I'm sorry you're having a bad day. You know, I apologize. I, I understand it's not me that caused you to have a bad day. I understand it's something else, you know, but hey, I understand. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and you take care. Go about your day. That will make the person really feel stupid. They might not even look like it. They might cuss and fuss and scream, still do it. But at the, but at the end of the day, they're going to think about it. They're going to say, damn, was I in the wrong? You know, um, so you really got to look at your actions and a lot of things as well. You got to really call yourself out on your BS. Any business venture, let's say you want to start a business, right? I mean, you know, of course, in the black community, we blame a lot of things that, you know, stops us from progressing um, as far as uh, starting a business or elevating, you know, things like that. But at the end of the day, you really have to look at what are you doing that's also stopping you because we are our biggest enemy. We are our biggest critic. I feel the same way myself in my business ventures. I go through every emotion. You know, I go through the doubts. I go through, you know, why am I doing this? How come, you know, I'm looking at these cats over here, got these, you know, $200,000 a year uh, uh, software jobs or something, you know, working for somebody else. Man, I want that right now, man. They over here rolling in some nice cars and, you know, got a nice fat house. Man, that's what I want. And I want it now, you know. And, um, you know, what I get from a lot of people is what I think is like, I think that's like, it's, it's non-important, right? The things that I do, you know, because me, I, 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 yes, I am a hard critic. I don't look at what I've accomplished and say, oh, cool, I accomplished all this, accomplished all that, you know, throughout the years, and man, I feel like I'm doing pretty good with myself. No, I look, I said, man, I need to go harder. Okay, I'm done with this, what's the next thing? I'm done with this, what's the next thing? Then, if next thing don't come around, or the next thing that come around, it's more challenging, or, you know, not coming to fruition as quick as I, how I want it, I beat myself up about it. And then I say, dang, man, like, you know, Man, what can I do? I need to do something. Something need to pop, you know? So a lot of us go through that. And like I said, we are our biggest enemy. And, you know, when when a lot of people, when they see me, they see my, you know, my personality, they see the smile. You know, even though they don't know the pain behind the smile, they don't know what the hell I'm going through behind the smile. They say, man, you got a dope personality. Oh, man, what you trying to do? Oh, man, I'm in real estate, man. I got my own business. What? Oh, man, you got the personality for it, man. Man, 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 man I see you walk down the street or I see you, how you conduct yourself, how you handle yourself. Man, I'm like, man, you got it. Just keep going. Keep going, man. You going to get there. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what? I, I tell it to myself. I'm like, man, what the hell are you talking about? Like, you know, and... I really had to like digest that and look into it and say, wow, like, you know, people really, you know, there is something that people see in me that I don't even see in myself. And that's what a lot of us, we have 
the traits and the capabilities to succeed, but you, we're we're sitting on so much trauma and so much just issues, you know, society issues that's going on in the world. We understand what's going on in the world. It does take a toll on us. It does affect us. You know, we got this fast moving market, all this stuff going on and it, it, it's crazy. It all affects us, but you know, you really got to break your life up and really time, you know, time management, manage your time, put yourself on a routine to where you can still figure out or find ways where you can still relax in this world, do what you want to do, find that peace, find that sanctuary, find that area where this this is your sanctuary. Like for me, my home is my sanctuary. I don't I'm not the type that want everybody at my house on the weekends or you know at every single holiday, maybe a few, you know, as I feel, you know, it will be a rare moment, but I'm not that type that want people in my house. My house is my sanctuary. That's that, that's where I can come home. I can do what the hell I want to do and have the peace of mind that I can have. And, you know, I, I, I find time to where I can do non-productive stuff, right? Like watching TV, playing video games, you know, you know, things like that. Sometimes, you know, it's okay to find time out of your day or out of your week to do things like that. You know what I'm saying? You got to you got to find something where you can just take your mind off the worries, you know, whatever you got going on, just take your mind off it and just say, you know, relax, chill. Say, "Okay, today I'm doing what the hell I want to do." You know, a lot of us say we ain't got time. A lot of us, you know, will complain, "Oh, man, it's not enough time of the day. I got to do this, I got to go do that, I got to, you know." And I was one of those people. And I say, you know what? I'm going to make time. You know, I always, you know, I'm I'm very concerned with my health. And I say, man, I, I want to work out, man. I want to do this. I want to do that. But, man, I just ain't got time. And I say, you know what? I do got time. I can make time. I can put myself on a schedule. So I wake up. I wake up every day at 6 a.m. 6.15, I'm out the bed getting ready. At 6.30, I'm out the door doing a 30-minute exercise. Just 30 minutes. I could walk around the block for 30 minutes. Just walk around somewhere for 30 minutes. You know, it's, we got time. You know what I'm saying? We just got to make time. We, we, we got to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? It's all about priorities. Having your priorities in order. Taking life serious. And that's what a lot of us don't do. You know what I'm saying? We, you know, we, we too busy taking just just BSing with life. You BSing yourself. So this is for all everybody out there. If you if you got something, an obstacle that you're going through, if you desire to start a business, to to do whatever, man, go do it. Because you only get one life to live. And it as as y'all see what's going on in the world right now, you know, we we're 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 approaching a recession. You know, stock market, people losing half they value. The bit, the Coinbase CEO, this man was, a, a net worth was $13 billion. And since crypto crashed, his net worth right now is only $2 billion. So y'all really think y'all really got problems? Yeah, you, you ain't went from a $13 billion net worth to $2 billion. You lost more than 75% of your net worth. Just like that. So... Trust me, <laughs> you're not the only one out here with problems. But at the same time, you know, you need to really address those problems. Figure out what it is that you lack or, or, or what's your real issue. And address it. Stop putting it off. Stop sitting here saying, well, man, it's, 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 it's because uh, my daddy wasn't always there, you know, so that's why. I go out here and 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 and, and got all these dang kids. So I'm over here just screwing, take you know these hoes raw and all this stuff. I got all these kids now. I got baby mama drama now. I'm on child support now. I'm on this now. I'm on that. Okay, but what did you do? What are you doing to fix that situation? Did you, you know, try to 
rekindle that relationship? Did you try to say, you know what, this issue that I'm going with, maybe, maybe I need some therapy. Maybe I need some, let me go speak to a therapist. Let me just get out what I've been feeling and how, you know, and what I've been going through. Let me just get it out. Cause if I get it out and I can really tell somebody and somebody can really give me some real good advice on how to manage through what I've been through and what I've been going through that I've been keeping bottled up inside. Maybe that'll help me develop myself as a person. It all starts with you. And if your mind ain't in the right place, and if you're not handling your inner demons and what you're going through personally, you'll never succeed in anything. No matter, you can, you got these actors, you, you got what the situation with Will Smith and Jada Piggott, you, you got these actors going crazy. Finna, finna damn near lose it all because of what they kept inside because they haven't dealt with what they've been dealing with inside. They haven't addressed it yet. They're just keeping it inside. They're not getting it out. Maybe they are. But maybe they, maybe they're just not getting it out enough. You know, maybe they're not doing enough to really solve the situation. They're too busy letting other things, maybe, especially with Will Smith and Jada, maybe the best situation for them is just to say, you know what's true, let's go ahead and part our ways. You can go ahead and do what you got to do. You can screw any other Negro you want. I'm going to go do what I got to do. I can screw any broad I want and just live life, do what the hell I want to do. But they like, well, damn, you know, shit, our net worth is better to get, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're looking at all these other things that they're like, well, we got this to think about, you know, and if we go with what's really going to make us more happy and really help us out. They're probably just going to, you know, it's like, well, man, we're going to lose half our net worth. We're going to lose all this. We're going to lose all that. And they're saying, well, we don't want to do that. So I'm just going to thug it out and look at where that's getting them, you know. Um, so, you know, you really got to really take time. Think about what it is that is preventing you from doing what you want to do. If you are the type of person who you rather just blame everybody else, you rather just, you know, point fingers at, you know, and, and this person's the you know reason why, you know, take, take a look at yourself and say, well, why am I, ask yourself, well, why am I letting this still get to me? It's been how long? It's been five, 10, 15 years since this situation and it's still affecting me. It's still preventing me from excelling and in, in, in succeeding in life. And the only way that you feel is to cope with it is, oh, I can just, you know, smoke my way, you know, temporary or drink my way, you know, to, 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 to help, you know, with it. But the trauma and the pain is still there. You know what I'm saying? I understand we all got our ways that we like to just detach and just, you know, maybe, you know, when you light up that joint, it's like, man, you just can relax and you could just kind of detach for a minute. But at the end of the day, you got to come back and address that situation. You got to. And I really, really suggest that everybody do that. You know what I'm saying? Hold yourself accountable. Figure out what it is that you really need to do to help you. Because the world ain't going to save you. Ain't nobody going to come and save you. Everybody dealing with their own problems. Even the people that, you know, maybe did you wrong. They still doing them. And you mad because they doing them and ain't thinking about nothing about, about how they did you. You know, maybe you need to take a little bit, you know, of that out of, you know what I'm saying, out of, out of their playbook and say, okay. Well, you know what? Let me go ahead and fix on me. Let me go ahead and work on me and do what I need to do because, you know, we can blame white supremacy. We can blame racism. We can blame all this stuff. But at the end of the day, what is you doing and why are you letting certain things keep you back and hold you back? Figure out what it is. I don't know what it is. You know what it is, but you don't want to address it. You don't want to face the truth. You don't want to face those consequences. Make it happen. Figure it out. And if you don't, I mean, that's not going to get you nowhere in life. So I feel like that's that right there 
is number one is getting your mindset right getting your mind right with yourself because that right there is going to whatever that you do with life whatever direction you go whatever you inspire to do like i said start a business you know be some type of artist you know whatever you want to get into whatever it is that you want to do number one starts with yourself and getting your mindset right because when you get up and you go out and you you know head out into the world and make it happen you know what i'm saying you try to do what you got to do to make it happen try to find ways try to find opportunities you're not going to find them if you're not right here first if you're not right with yourself and it it is a battle it is a struggle because you're battling yourself you know what I'm saying? There is nobody on the other end that you could exchange words with. You know what I'm saying? It's all in here. It's all with, you know, and it does drain you. It does. But you got to figure out if, if, if therapy is your option. Stop thinking therapy is for suckers. Ah, man, therapy is for suckers. There, you know, if, if that's what you feel, if you ulti ultimately decide that, you know what, I need to figure out a way I can get this out. Then make it happen. And if you sit there and, and say, nah, it's all cool, you know what I'm saying? Then it's on you. Don't don't blame other people no more. If you know in your head you decided that this is my issue, this is what I feel like I really need, but then you say, nah, because I don't want to, you know, people, I mean, what are everybody going to think about me? What 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 people gonna say? You know, you worried about what other people how how other people gonna think? Then you can't blame them no more because you know what it is and you chose not to address it. You chose not to. So hold yourself accountable. At the end of the day, self accountability is the agenda. That's the thing that is going to help you succeed in anything. Once you write with yourself and you feel good about yourself and where you're at, the space that you're in, man, boundaries is limitless. You can get out here, go make things happen, and be all right with yourself. So that's all I got for you guys today. You know, I really hope... Um, a lot of you guys, you know, really listen um, and really, really figure out what it is in life that you want. Really figure out your inner, you know, demons and really find a, a, a way to heal from that. Because um, that's the only way we're going to get forward. You know, we got a lot of this that's holding us down in our communities. And uh, it all starts with you. We can't save the world. We can't save everybody. But you can really save you and make it happen because if you if we all start doing that and following that path then as a whole the community we can get out of this you know issue that we're in that we're facing so but you got to focus on you first you can't help nobody and try to help solve other people's issues if you got issues if you're not right with yourself so how are you helping somebody else you know, trying to tell them what they need to do and dictate to them what they need to do to, to, to heal from this or, you know, whatever, get around this. And you got your own situations that you ain't even healed from yet. So you're not even practicing what you're preaching. You know, so appreciate y'all for tuning in. Like I said, man, follow us on all social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram at the agenda. That's D.A. Agenda. And we're on that new True Social app. V of the agenda and make sure y'all follow us as well. The page, the network, dark network, 24 seven, youtube.com slash dark network, 24 seven, or check out the website, www.darknetwork 247com Check out all of the content. We got some dope content coming soon to the website as well. So, um, make sure y'all tune in and I catch y'all on the next one.